Hey guys, welcome back. So I have here a Toro lawnmower with a Briggs & Stratton engine. And um, I recently fixed this machine. It wasn't running uh, due to a broken auto choke. But now that it is running, you know, it sounds like it's running a little bit slow. And I could be wrong. You know, maybe it's just a quiet engine, but it sounds slow to me. So um, what I'm going to show you today is basically how to check your engine speed and adjust it if you have a Briggs & Stratton engine uh, similar to the setup as this one. And uh, most of them are fairly similar. Um, on this one, you know, there's actually a tab right here, which a spring is connected to. And if you pu push that tab in, you know, bend it in with a pair of pliers, the engine will run slower. You bend it out, it'll run faster. And what happens sometimes you know, you're mowing the lawn, you push the lawnmower into something, and this is really unprotected here, so you could potentially bang something into that and unknowingly, you know, basically slow down your lawnmower permanently by doing that. So what I'm going to show you today is um, how to check the engine speed and, you know, make adjustments as necessary. All right, so this is the tachometer I'm going to use. Um, it's available, you know, like on eBay, probably on Amazon. Um, right now, if the engine's off, it's just telling you how many hours are on the engine. And once the engine starts, it'll tell you the engine speed. And this works on two-cycle, four-cycle, you know, single-cylinder, multi-cylinder. You just got to configure it for the type of engine you have. And in this case, the default is four-cycle, single-cylinder. So I shouldn't need to make any adjustments on this. Um, and to install it, um, you do need to wrap this cord on the spark plug wire at least three turns. You know, I try to do four or five. And once you get it wrapped on, you do need to secure this. And what I find works best is just a zip tie. Um, usually I don't keep these on my machines. I just do it, you know, if I need to adjust the speed like I'm doing now, I'll temporarily put it on make the adjustment, and then take it off. And that's it. Okay, so I'm about to start this engine. I won't be able to say much while it's running, but what I'm gonna do is obviously start it. I'm gonna tie this down so that the engine will keep running check the tap, tack, and make the adjustments as needed. Um, for this particular mower, you know, I don't have the exact RPM specs. You know, I think 3,200 would probably be a safe number. I know this engine can handle probably up to 3,600, but, you know, on the other similar push mowers that have put a tack on, you know, they come in at around 3,200, and that speed sounds pretty good. So uh, I'm going to aim for that. Okay, so that was a pretty easy adjustment. Uh, the engine was running slow, it was around 2600 RPM. And as I started to bend that tab, you know, as I approached the 3000 RPM range, it sounded pretty good to me. I almost stopped at that point. Um, I did bend it a little bit more. I think the end number was around, you know, 3150 uh, RPM, you know, which I, I don't think I would go any more than that. So anyway, it's a pretty easy adjustment. You know, I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.